I didn't say good morning because it's not a good morning. <laughs> well, it's okay, but... Yeah. So I just went to the lawyer and um, he, he said basically that we are out of luck. That uh, the house is worth too much money, my truck is worth too much money to file for either a Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. Um, I would have to sell the truck, get something that's only worth $3,000. I'm probably going to end up doing anyway. I'm going to. Um, I. We need the money right now. Uh, we don't know at this point if um, B of A has filed a lien against the house, but they may have. Uh, we're waiting for paperwork because we know we got email saying that there was something coming, and that's probably what it is. Uh, the only thing the lawyer did give me is some forms to file for a homestead act, and uh, that that could stop the people, the creditors, from forcing us to sell the house. So if I can get that done today, I'm going to go with my mom. Um, that may give us a little more time to to do what we have to do, and uh, so we have to decide at that point whether we're going to sell the house or uh, try and keep it. Um, and uh, which means keeping it means me trying to figure out a way to make income because at this point it, it hasn't been happening. Um, if we sell the house, we're probably going to clear about 100000 And um, that's after everybody's paid. And we might be able to buy uh, rental properties in another state. But I, I don't know. Things don't go well like that for us. So usually we Nothing get. Nothing goes well yeah, for us. This is just horrible. This, yeah, it's just the, it's just the same old thing. We're 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 stuck between a rock and a hard space. We're not poor enough to for uh, uh, to get um, uh, assistance. Yeah, and um, I think uh, bankruptcy has changed since you got one because basically they're saying that the, uh, these bills will never go away. They just it's just it just have to pay for them later and uh, I would basically have to restructure it none of it sounds good anymore uh, we're uh, you know SOL regardless hmm. so but I need to work I need to figure out something to do um, I haven't even had I mean conti I continually put in applications and I haven't even had a uh, an interview in over a year nobody calls me back so um, I'm gonna be showing my picture soon, so uh, yeah, buy donations, some pictures. Donations for the pictures are are very, 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 very much welcomed. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we're at. Uh, we're we're not the money's not coming in. the the, the channel has uh, ceased to grow, so we're not getting no income from that. Um, I'm not getting calls for work anymore. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out a way to put my uh, myself out there. Alright, so I'm on my way to my mom's house. We're just, I'm just going to pick her up and we're going to head off to uh, the county clerk's office to file some paperwork to try to um, head off uh, any kind of problems with losing a house. And I hope we haven't got a lien on the house yet. I managed to put some gas in my car. And they're gonna power my truck. It looks like I'm gonna have to sell the truck uh, for whatever I can get for it, and uh, maybe buy a little truck if I'm gonna pursue the handyman work, or depending on how much money I actually get out of the truck, which is not looking good because I spent eighteen thousand for it about three years ago, four years ago. And um, uh, I've got 105,000 miles on it now. It only had like 40 when I bought it. Um, the tires need to be replaced. I still don't. I still have problems with those stupid sensors. It's never, never got them to work. Uh, I figure I'm probably going to get about 8,000 for it. And I could not buy a car that's going to um, uh, be usable as a, an Uber or a Lyft driver. That was the other option I had because I know I could do that. However, uh, I did it for a couple of weeks and um, driving my uh, Nissan Frontier six-cylinder truck 
made me no money doing it because uh, yeah, I spent more money, uh, maybe cleared about 10% of the income actually went into my pocket. So it was hardly worth it. So that's why I stopped doing that. It was just making money for, uh, for Lyft at the time. It was making me none. So uh, if I get a car that's um, fuel efficient, uh, like a uh, um, Prius or something like that, I could make some money doing that. It's certainly not designed to make you uh, a lot of money, but uh, it would be something. But right now, I can't make any money with this truck. I can't seem to get into the, the handyman business. Um, and I can't seem to uh, get anybody to hire me, so it's, it's become bleak. It's something needs to be done. I need to do something. All right, so I had a pretty busy day today. I um, I probably told you about the, most of this already in the truck, but uh, I went to see a lawyer, and he told me that I'm uh, not going to be able to declare bankruptcy because our house is. We have too much equity. It's too too much equity in the house. Plus, I have a truck. I'm only allowed to own a vehicle for thirty-five hundred dollars or less. So and uh, so, I I'm really just out of luck as far as that's concerned. He did, however, say, "What have you um, um, posted a um, homestead declaration?" Homestead declaration. I, I don't know what that is. He printed one out for me and says, uh, cost you a couple of bucks, go to uh, county clerk, fill this out, have it notarized, and um, you will be relatively safe from creditors. Uh, to, uh, uh, they won't force your house into foreclosure, which is... They can't put a lien on your house. Well, they can't. Uh, they can kind of, they could apply a lien to the house, but they can't do, they can't force us to sell. They have to wait. We get our money first then they get their money that's what it says as at least that's what i was told and it only cost um about forty dollars to uh to post that and so now i can we can relax a little bit and focus on what i'm going to be doing for a living i'm still talking with dave about projects and i'm we're still talking about moving back east so um it looks like um we may have enough money to do what we want to do uh, the lawyer also said that uh, that we're sitting in a housing bubble right now and it might be a good idea to sell now before it pops. So, you have to keep that in uh, perspective as well. That's and, what I said too. Yeah, so we might do that and uh, wait for it to pop and then buy uh, some houses uh, pennies on the dollar back east or something. Val's been coloring stressing out in the couch all day today yep. we, the other thing that we that kind of motivated us today was that uh, we got an email saying that we were getting something from UPS in the mail today and it was sent from to Bank of America and we didn't know it was from Bank of America at first we didn't know who it was from and we were when trying to figure out did we order something because we have no money to order stuff did somebody send us something where was it coming from it was coming from Maine of all places they sent the second email and it said it was from Bank of America and I'm going, oh, that's not good. It turned out to be just a letter saying give us a call because I've been avoiding their phone calls. So, I'll call them tomorrow because I'm not worried about them taking the house now. And, uh, so that's it for today. And I'm just going to keep coloring. And Val's going to keep coloring. And, the, and, and... Angel's just going to lie there. Aren't you, Angel? She's hot. Are you hot? <laughs> Camera's on? What? Did I miss Did that? Did you miss that? That the camera was on and everything? <laughs> All right. So. <clears throat> so, are we calling it an evening? It's an evening. We're calling it an evening, guys. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Please share our video with your family and friends. Please leave us a comment. But 
most of all, please subscribe. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we don't even need to be prompted anymore, do you? <laughs> Goodbye. You want to do it with me? Goodbye.